Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, this will probably be the last video you see with this background and stuff. I know I should put up a background, I'm sorry. But, and if you hear noise, I'm washing laundry for Penzik. So, yes, this will be the last video before I get to war. And I'd like to say, hey guys, have a safe trip. See you there, hopefully. And if you're not making it, I will make some videos while I'm there and send the love out to you guys. Uh, real life does come first. If you guys are going to Penzik, some things. One, get your oil changed, get your car looked at, whatever you need to do to get that done. Flat tires and stuff like that on the way to and or from Penzik while loaded up full of stuff really sucks. Two, wait, remember to bring your identification, your, you know, all your information and stuff like that. If you don't have your ID when you get to troll, you're going home. So make sure triple check, have it sitting on your dashboard, looking at you as you're leaving. Don't leave without your ID. If you are not a land agent, please wait. Um, they will be turning people away at Troll Friday before noon if you are not a land agent. If land is not sorted out by noon, they will turn people away. Please wait. If you're not a land agent, check with your land agent when to show up. Ideally, Saturday. And this is for land grab weekend, not second weekend. Show up when you show up. Check that you don't show up too late. Make sure Troll is still open. Troll will not be open 24 hours all war like it used to be. And you cannot come on site if you have not trolled in. When you get to Troll, when you get there, they're going to tell you to park in a certain location, usually along the battlefield or along Curry Road. They'll tell you to park. You'll get out. You'll walk up to Troll. Bring your ID with you remember where you parked and take a picture of your license plate and if you have a trailer with you take a picture of your trailer license plate because i'm willing to guess that most people don't have their license plate memorized when you get to troll you're going to give them your membership card your id and they're going to ask you for the license plate number for any vehicle you are responsible for because it's going to go on your hang tag for your car you're going to pay your fee, you're gonna sign in, you're going to get what they excuse as a booklet because the booklet thing is different now. Remember, you can still buy the booklet at Newcomer's Point, so go buy yourself a book. They'll give you your medallion and a string to hang it from you and your receipt. They'll sign, they'll sign off on your hang tag for your car and stuff and tell you to have a nice war. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to loop that string through your medallion. You're going to tie it in a knot. You're going to put it over your head. Do not take that off till you go home. Trust me. If you lose that medallion, you get to wear the wristband of shame. Do not take off that medallion. And there are people who say, oh, but the string's not strong enough. It doesn't last literally after working a couple of years of security and still being enthusiastic about the game and stuff like that, I wore my Penzig medallion for a year with the stupid cotton string they gave me with it. It didn't break. It didn't wear out. I have very acidic skin. I wear through socks and pants and shoes and stuff like that very regularly. And the string lived. So when people go oh but this oh but that nobody troll security staff nobody buys that story so don't if you don't like the string you can make one get another one that's fine but keep that medallion with you at all times um then once you have your medallion on you go back to your car you're going to find your encampment if you are camping with somebody, hopefully they gave you directions. I can't do that for you here. I don't know. If not, you're going to have to look for your campsite 
for single camping and talk to Troll about that, about where that's going to go on. They would be able to help you better with that. Unload as quickly as you can, safely. You're only allowed to park on one side of the road. Again, I can't tell you which side of the road you're on. So when you get there, take care. If you can get off the road into your camp, great. But I think you only have two hours to unload. Land grab weekend is a little different, but the rest of the time you have two hours. If it is getting dark, it, you have to move your vehicle as soon as it gets light. So, yes, they're allowed to tow your car. Don't push this issue past people. It's Pensic 50. They don't want to mess around with a larger no than normal group of people. And they have the right to tow your car. Don't give them the reason to. As soon as you're done unloading, get back in your car, go find parking. Ideally, find yourself flat if you can, close if you can. But if you're not doing your camps, town runs, and stuff like that, just park it someplace safe. Don't take up too much room because their they're, parking spots are allotted. But sometimes the strings that they put up and the little ribbons and stuff get kind of mushed up. Try to park like a reasonable human being. If you have one of those sunshades for your windshield, I highly recommend it because your car is going to sit there for a while and it's going to cook. So put up your sun windshield reflective thing. Put your hang tag on your mirror. And if you have the sunscreen, make sure it's on the outside of the sunscreen. So security driving by, mate, uh, not security, public safety, watch, whatever you want to call them, parking authority. The parking authority can see your tag. Um, so they know that the car is okay. And uh, make sure everything in your car is off. Unplug any USB things. Get everything unplugged and safe because it's going to sit for a week or more. And coming back to a dead battery sucks. There's 10,000 skating and somebody will have a jumper cable. But you don't want to have to sit and deal with that. So unplug everything. Make sure all your lights are off. Make sure everything's go off. Get back to your camp, set up your tent, set up your stuff. If you have a good group of campmates with you, you might come back to your camp, to your tent already set up. Hey, um, or at least your stuff organized in your area for your tent, which is probably a safer bet um, because it is kind of a personal thing of setting up your tent how you like it. I want it facing this way or that way, unless you've already worked out with your campmates. It's nice for you to be there while they're setting up. I do set up a good number of the people in my camp's tents, so it depends on your camp. After that, your tent is set up, your car is parked for a week, get dressed, go get yourself some chocolate milk, have fun, and if you see me, say hello. Have yourself a great war. See you at war. Uh, secondary notes. Yes, I know I said I was going to do a how to set up your tent on a hill video. And I know I said I was going to get some help and do a female garb video. But my time is short before I go because I am land agent. I will be leaving Thursday for uh, land grab. I will probably do my best to do a camp on a hill video at Penzik because I can show you my camp, which is not horribly slanted, but it's not flat. Um, and I can get other people to help me with the female garb video. And I can do more in real time. Here's looking at the real thing videos. If you are subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. If you aren't, it's free to subscribe. If you guys are subscribed, by the way, if you could just say hi on this video, I think it would be hysterical. It would be great to play with the algorithm if everyone just commented anything at all. Just 
hi and see how many I can get on this video. That would be cool. And you know, I'm going to give you a cute cat photo. So I'm going to go actually take a new one because a lot of the photos you've been getting are old. So here comes a new cat photo. See you guys at war.